graphs of common functions. So we're going to get into a series of videos that are going to look at transforming the graphs of functions. We're going to be shifting them vertically and horizontally, reflecting them, and shrinking and stretching them. And so it makes sense to kind of keep in mind what our common functions look like at their very base, kind of the parent function, as you will. So our objective here is recognize the graphs of common functions. And again, these are often called the parent functions, okay? The graph of common functions, the graph of the parent functions. And so quickly, frequently encountered functions include the constant function, which is this one here, the identity function, this one here, absolute value, quadratic, square root, cubic, and cube root functions. It is helpful to have these base graphs, or again, I'll call that the parent graphs, and their characteristics memorized. So we'll just take a look at these, and I just copied this from a, I just copied this from a textbook. Okay, so and this, what this gives you is the common function. Here's the constant function, the identity function, which is also the linear function. Absolute value, which forms the V. Standard quadratic, the square root function. These two are inverse functions, the standard cubic and the cube root function, and these two are inverse functions. And it, this also tells you, it gives you a quick look at it, it also tells you the domain of the parent function, negative infinity to infinity in these cases. The domain of the square root function goes from zero, included, up to infinity. Okay, the range, okay, the range is, well, the range of this one is just a single number. You know, y equals 1.5, the range is 1.5. Negative infinity to infinity, the range of the absolute value goes from zero inclusive to positive infinity and so on. When it decreases or increases, and we've talked about that, this one increases all the way from negative infinity to infinity. Again, the parent function is increasing the entire time. This one increases, whoops, increases from zero to infinity and it decreases from negative infinity to zero, et cetera, et cetera here. Um, and all, also we've discussed is the function even or odd, okay? Even, symmetrical with respect to the y-axis. This is even, this is even, this is even, okay? Odd, symmetrical with respect to the origin. If we put a tack at the origin and we spin it, this function lands on itself uh, in a, within a 180 degree turn. This one is not odd. Not, not, this one is. If we put a tack here at the origin, it only takes a 180 degree spin to get it back on itself and the same for this one. So it's a very good idea to have this sheet available to you as a good starting place for when you're dealing with, for example, a quadratic function, what is the basic shape of the parent function and what am I doing to manipulate that?